gang. Happy, happy Thursday. And I gotta be honest, I can barely believe that it is actually Thursday. This has been the most upside down week for me. Daylight savings, I don't know about you guys, but that always throws me for a massive loop. I traveled on daylight savings, went to Los Angeles, so jumped back three hours. I was sitting in my hotel room, ordered dinner, all settled in, finished up, did a little bit of work, watched a little HGTV, and then I realized that it was time for bed. I looked at my clock, it was 7.15. So yeah, I've been upside down ever since then, and I was telling the gang here in the studio, be prepared, I'm a little bit excited today. I am heading off on my long-awaited girls weekend trip leaving this afternoon and it's all I can just about think about. So I'm probably gonna do a little shopping from the rack today. Okay, here's the deal. I can't believe it, I know you can't either. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. All the holiday things are starting to happen and I'm ready to get dressed for it. One of my favorite trends that is happening this season is everything neutral. It's such an easy way to put outfits together. Everything matches, there's no hard rules. I've got some really, really fun pieces from really dressed up to uber casual that we're gonna put together and take a look at. And of course, any questions, send them my way. So starting from the beginning, I'm actually gonna start with this amazing pair of jeans that I just put on my body. This is that rule breaker of yes, you can wear white after Labor Day. These are actually a beautiful cream, which really makes it easy. These are from Ammo. Now, new denim brand for us. I am obsessed with them because they are such a cool vintage fit, but ridiculously comfortable. This is the Bella Jean. It's got all this yummy, super cool destruction on it, which I think is so darn fun. Oh, my little pocket's sticking out there some destruction on the pockets and a little bit on the hem and stretch. So super comfy, especially when you're putting on that lighter jean. This guy, I wore my true size because I know that Amo is gonna stretch out just a little bit. Now paired it back to what I've dubbed ever since we shot this for our catalog, the Thanksgiving sweater. It just feels like what you wear for Thanksgiving. It's cozy and yummy, and it's gonna look good next to a turkey. I mean, why not? It's the Miles sweater, so cute. Now this guy's meant to be a little bit relaxed. I'm wearing a small, so I think it runs true to size. Just know that it's not gonna be a super shaped fit. You're gonna get some nice structure through the body, but it's gonna drop off your shoulder just a smidge. A little bit longer wrist, which I like. I always say, pull up that sleeve just a little bit and show off those wrists to just peek a little bit more skin, and then, if you want to dress it up, pairing it back to that hazel heel. I've been talking about this. I love this shoe. This is in the spun metallic gold. So fantastic. Done. Question. What's the name of your jeans you're wearing, honey? These are the Bella from Amo. Okay, so new fit, really yummy. They are definitely a higher rise, but again, what I like about these games is there's lots of stretch. So really, really comfortable, but and here's what I think can be tricky. Finding a jean with stretch that still looks kind of vintage and washed down, these guys are definitely doing the trick. So, okay, I wanna stay on this sweater moment because I feel like, number one, it's sweater weather. I'm heading to Nashville this weekend. It's gonna be 47 degrees, what the hey? I mean, it's gonna be as cold there as it is here in Minneapolis. So I'm gonna be packing in my gigantic suitcase a couple more sweaters. So starting with this one, which of course we love, but I have to show you my favorite sweater of the entire season, and that is the Millie. So here's the deal. It is a shaker knit. It is crazy, crazy soft. So, so yummy. A little bit of a relaxed fit, and it comes in not one, not two, but three colors. So this beautiful, beautiful kind of oatmeal cream, this yummy, it's a little bit, I'd say, more saturated blush color. And that's actually why I like it. If you struggle wearing blush, if it washes you out, this is a really, really great tone. It has just a little bit more pop to it, but still feels really soft. And then this amazing soft blue, which would be fabulous back to the cream jeans I'm wearing, or even a blue jean would be so fun. Meant to be much like this, a little bit relaxed and fit, so not 
like a super structured sweater, and that's why I love it because it's uber, uber cozy. So fun. Question. So do your shoes run true to size? Mm -hmm. And talk about the fabrication of the mini Okay. So I'm actually going to pop it on so you guys can see it. So the hazel shoe, I always struggle, right, with heels because, oh, do you go up half a size? I sometimes I treat them the same way I would with a sandal. But guys, I'm like, I'm caught in the back and in the front. This is what happens. Look, <laughs> caught on my bracelet and... I'm caught on the tag in the back. I can feel it hanging on my tank top. Can I get it out? Stretch, stretch, got it. Okay, so the Millie sweater. Let's find out the blend on this, you guys, just so you know, because this is what I like about it. It's so darn soft. Not at all scratchy. Where's my info? It's usually on the inside tag, there it is. So it's a blend, so it's acrylic nylon spandex you know what i love about the spandex part it's going to retain its shape i hate it when a sweater stretches out it gets so sloppy this guy's going to hold its shape okay this is just such a dream so yummy truth be told when we were shooting this for the catalog a few months ago we were in la it was kind of chilly i needed a sweater i grabbed this off the rack and it may or may not have come home with me and I may or may not have kept it in my closet a little bit longer than I should have until someone asked me where the sample was and I had to give it back and I was kind of sad about it. So now that it's in store, I can buy it. It's so fantastic. You can also see what's really nice about this guy, little bit longer length. So if you're still loving your skinnies, maybe you're wearing them with a tall boot right now or a little booty, this is a nice one because it gives you just a little bit of tush coverage. And again, three colors, this is a fun one to give and to get. So sister-in-laws, mother-in-laws looking for a great gift, this could totally do the trick. Okay, other fun sweaters. So this is kind of shaker knit. When I talk about that, I'm really just talking about this ribbing on the sweater. Definitely a thing. This texture is really important, I think, when you're wearing neutrals. So I wanted to grab this sweater because it really, I think, kind of nods to that idea too. All these fun pastel yummy colors in this one, so, so great. Love the ribbing on this. Now this fun thing about this design history sweater is this is an easy off the shoulder, on the shoulder kind of sweater. So wear it on the shoulder, maybe when you're at your in-laws, wear it off the shoulder when you're going to dinner. Again, another super soft one. And I think the detail on the sleeve is actually what makes a sweater so fun. It's not just your straight up standard pullover. It's got a great little sleeve to it as well. Heidi, what size are you wearing in that sweater? In the sweater, a small. So you can see it's just, just a touch oversized. And you know, there's a lot of these kind of, I would say, um, like neutrally, we're calling it kind of minimalist sweaters that are happening. And to me, one of the reasons I love this sweater is because it hits all the bills without costing a fortune. So a lot of those sweaters that are out there, they're beautiful, but they're like $500. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather have five sweaters than one. So this one, absolutely such a fun one to invest in because the quality is fantastic, but it doesn't have to break the bank. Okay, texture, another really fun sweater. I'm thinking about those of you who live in a slightly warmer climate. You don't need that heavier sweater. This is a really fun one from Pistola. What's great about this guy, this little bit more open weave, I popped just a little cami on under this, either nude or white. You can wear white under white, that's fine. But what's really fun about this guy is that destruction on the neckline as well as on the hem. Just gives it a little bit of edge, makes it really interesting. Okay, feminine details, definitely a thing. You know this sweater, I'm wearing a Bella jean. Now we're gonna talk about the Bella sweater. This was the front cover of our October catalog. Came in just a little bit late and I can't believe we still have stock on this guy because it's so beautiful. Again, another really soft sweater. Looks like Angora, but it's not, thank you. So friendly and soft, and you're not gonna get a bunch of hair on your lip, which always drives me nuts when I'm wearing lip gloss. So ruffle sleeve pullover, you've got this great detail here, cabling on the front, volume in the sleeve, and a crew neckline, but it's not gonna be as high as this one. So a little bit more open, so you can show off a delicate layer, or just open up your neckline a little bit more. Yes, for sure. And the jeans once more, Yes, Bella, the Bella jean. Brand new, you guys, they just came in. Just, just came in. We're gonna have to figure out like where I throw my stuff here, because typically you guys know I just throw it to the side of my closet and you can't see it, but it's so pretty here. Neat and tidy. One, um, Kelly asked the inseam on the Bella jeans. 
Oh, that's a good question. Okay, so I am just shy of 5'4", with real short legs, and they are hitting me just at my ankle. I'm gonna guess they're a 20, 28? Oh, 28, nice. Okay, here's the Bella game. So pretty, right, and so fun. So you can see this is a small, definitely more of a relaxed fit on this one as well. You get that great ruffle detail. Now, I think this is fun if you are ready to kind of embrace that more feminine trend. This is a great way to do it. Now, I think for me, this would be a lot of cream and I feel very monochromatic. I'm a fan of it. But I actually think this might be really nice with a blue jean or if you're gonna dress it up a little bit, maybe give it a little bit edge. Let's do blue. So grab these fun little Edwins. What I like about these is that they're more of a washed down black, so really, really soft. This is, I think, the Ellen Crop. Great detail on these. One of the things we love about Edwin is that they are a sustainable denim brand. So more of a straight leg on this guy, but I think that juxtaposition of this more feminine sweater against a more rock and roll bottom softens up the femininity and gives you a little bit of edge to your look. You could totally keep on these heels, or if you want to edge it up even more, I put on a little lug sole black boot and be out the door. These are loving that sweater. It's really good, right, gang? I mean, it's really, really good. It's such a fun one. I think it's kind of a statement, um, which I think is like, easy to wear, then you just throw on like your favorite jeans. And if you're living in the Midwest, we were laughing about this when I was in LA earlier this week with Alyssa. I asked her when I walked in, I'm like, do I have to take off my shoes? And she looked at me like I had seven heads. And I was like, oh, it's a Minnesota thing. I think all the snow, we always take off our shoes. But if you live in a warmer climate, you get to keep your cute shoes on. So if you get to keep your cute shoes on wherever you're going, a fun one to wear with a heel or throw on a pair of little slippers. So cute. Okay, other like, ways to do statement sweaters. Grabbed this guy. Actually, someone from our social media team has a sweater. She's a redhead. It looks <laughs> unbelievable on her. Absolutely love it. So this great polo sweater detail is so fun. This is from Few People. You know Few People. It runs generous. I'm not going to try this guy on because this is a small and I would for sure be an extra small in this. It definitely runs generous, but I think the pink color is so beautiful. This great low like V on this and that polo neckline makes it a little sexy and takes away the prep. So wear a cami under this. Like you could wear that Kira cami with that little bit of lace peeking out. It would be so pretty. And again, this is one where you can wear it with the cream if you want to make it a little rock and roll and pair it back to the black. Okay, kind of a spin on the sweater that I'm wearing now. Another Free People fun sweater with this great little polo collar. This one, I'd say for sure, needs that scratch in the outfit to really carry it off. So get your destructive jeans out, get your lug sole boot out, pair it back to this, and it's gonna take away that uber femininity of this sweater and make it look a little bit more edgy. Really fun, and again, another really soft sweater. So, so fun. I'm gonna give you the name of this guy. This is the Every Cloud Pullover, and I can tell you why they call it the Cloud Pullover, because it is so soft. Also, I love this little bit of cable detailing on the front. It's so cute. The Free sweater is pretty soft too, right? So soft, yeah, so soft. I'd say this guy has that like really, much like the Bella, has that really kind of soft, gougie hand, kind of also like, um, what was the sweater I was wearing earlier? Like the Jameson I was wearing in the very beginning, really, really soft. I'd say this Free People sweater with that polo collar has a little bit more of a dry hand to it. So again, I always think of those sweaters being fabulous if you're living somewhere where it's just a touch warmer and you don't need that heavy sweater. Okay. We talked a lot last year about turtlenecks. There were so many turtlenecks happening, and now I've seen things kind of evolve into this mock neck, and I am here for it big time. I think turtlenecks can be tricky if you don't have a super long neck or if it just makes you feel claustrophobic. I hear you, I see you. So the mock neck is here, and it's much, much easier to wear. So I've got a couple different options I wanna show you. First and foremost, this is kind of towing into that trend. This is from BB Dakota. This amazing, so many hearts for this, this amazing Fair Isle sweater. 
without a doubt, hands down, my favorite sweater from our November catalog that just strapped in store. This guy is flying out the door. This is fabulous with leggings. It's easy with jeans. Pair it with a lug sole boot. Dress it up with like a heel little booty. So fun, so cute, and I think the unexpected color pairing is what makes this so phenomenal. So, so good. I, think, I always feel like there's questions about this one. They said it like a great Colorado sweater. It is a good Colorado sweater. I, it's actually really funny. I think this is, this is probably going to make it into my bag when I go skiing this winter. What I think is really fun about this Fair Isle, it's not in those traditional holiday colors. You've got these great neutrals with a little bit of blue and black and camel. So chic, so fun. Love this guy. Okay. And then in that more mock neck category, I grabbed two of my absolute favorites. One from Paige and one from Every. Ooh, so good. I wore this in my stories a few weeks ago. This guy just came in from Paige. Let's talk about the Paige one first. So what makes this special is this beautiful cable stitching down the side. You get that voluminous sleeve, more of a camel color, and again, that mock neck, but it's not so, so high. And then this yummy, yummy sweater from Every. I am obsessed with this mocha mauve color. It's an easy one to pair back to any neutral look. And I also think it's beautiful in so many skin tones. It's warm, it doesn't wash you out, adds a little bit of pop. And the structure on this one's really nice. I did a little half tuck just to give myself a little bit of shape, but like the dream outfit for me on this one, half tuck, skinny jeans, tall boot, done. Like easy, easy peasy. The one you would take to Colorado, yes. it's not oversized. Tuck no, here, I'll pop it on for you guys to see. It's not oversized, but it is, I'd say it is more um, relaxed, which I think is what makes it kind of fun. We paired it in the catalog with a little black jean and our Sorel Lennox boot, which, P.S., if you haven't gotten your hands on those yet, I encourage you to get them. Weather is getting cold everywhere. Everybody needs a Sorel. The Lennox, especially in black, is such a fun way to do that little hiker trend. I remember this, the color in this one's a little tighter. Okay, so not oversized. This is a small, but it's definitely more, oh yeah, we should go pre-ski somewhere. I don't know where, we're not even gonna ski. We're just gonna sit and have hot toddies and do that life, whatever. Maybe we'll just spend the day at the spa and then show up like we skied all day. Okay, so here you can see. Not super long, hits me kind of low hip, I would say. Again, I mean, barely a mock gang, just enough that you're getting a little bit of height on here. Super, super soft, just a relaxed fit, and it's so, so yummy and so darn cute. Do you not love this? I mean, how fun. And then, just to show you, back to black. This is why I like it, because I think it brings out that pattern in the black, makes it really fun, but, also super cute with the blue, because then you pick up the blue in the sweater. Can't go wrong. So cute. This is a good one. I agree. Wanted to see it. Okay. All right. So then we've talked sweaters. Cozy, easy. That's kind of our Thanksgiving look, right? It's easy to throw it on for the holiday, whether you're hosting or you're going to someone's home. Sometimes sweaters can get warm. So let's talk about an easy way to do neutrals not in a sweater silhouette. So I've got some really fun little knit tops as well as some woven shirts I'm gonna show you. Let's start with just kind of a sweater replacement and that is this yummy sweatshirt from Nation. So V-neck, more of a voluminous sleeve. This guy is gonna hit you in band right at the wrist. And here's what I think is really fun about this. It's a banded bottom but not a tight banded bottom. So you can leave it out or do a little half tuck and it's a v-neck so i know v-necks can be tricky to find this season i feel like everything is either a mock or a crew or you're going into like a woven shirt territory if you want to get a little bit of skin on that chest so when you see a v-neck you want to snag it in this beautiful blush rose color one of my faves so cute okay this tee now we showed this in our email blast earlier this week it comes in three colors but i grabbed the neutral this is the penny Fabulous rib fabrication, great voluminous sleeve. I'm gonna pop this guy on just so you can see how it fits. I think sometimes there's a hesitation, right, around a knit top being too voluminous, maybe overtakes, feels like it's gonna like be all the sleeves, all the things. This one's really fun because I think you can kind of dress it up. It's like a cheater top. 
You're gonna look put together. You're gonna look kind of dressed up, but no one needs to know that really you're just wearing a t-shirt because it's so darn soft. Okay, so here's the penny top, exclusive to every. Now leave it untucked first. Great voluminous sleeve, but this is an easy, easy one to cook in. Maybe you're lucky enough to have someone cook for you. I know at my house, I'm splitting the job between myself and my sister-in-law and my mom. So I'm gonna be in that kitchen. This is an easy one, because look, the sleeve's pushed up, still looks put together. I would probably, in this guy, either do a half tuck or a full tuck, just to give myself a little bit of waist, but because it's not so long and it's not so voluminous, this is an easy, easy one to rock and wear all day. And again, it's not heavy. So this is the Penny, three colors, this yummy gray, which I love, black, of course, statement, and then don't forget there's a really fun festive red, which to me screams like cookie baking party, ornament exchange, all day long. So fun. I mean, guys, this is a dream. This might, I think this is coming with me to Nashville. This whole thing. It's making it, it's making it in the suitcase. This made the cut. All right, a couple more fun little tops. Nation, you know Nation. They make such a fabulous statement tee. Two really cute ways to do it. So I love this guy. Again, a V-neck. Thank you, thank you, Nation, for finding these great V-necks. It's a t-shirt you can dress it up. So it's got this great little gold buttons on it. V-neck line, the ruffle I think is fun because it's not super overwhelming and then you've just got a little bit of a voluminous sleeve. Because of all this great detail here, it's a really easy one to leave open or you can tuck it in. Another kind of sister to that is this great smocked top. You can wear this guy right off the shoulder, really fun to wear. This would be a great little girls weekend top because you can kind of dress it up or dress it down. This kind of says bring me to brunch all day long, and the color is so yummy. I don't know, pick your poison. They're both really fun, right? Okay, and then in the woven top category. So, anyone that knows me knows that there's nothing I like more than a button-down shirt. It has been, like, true forever. I love myself a good relaxed button-down. We've been talking a lot this year about if you are not a button-down gal, this is an easy, easy season to embrace them because they're more relaxed and they're not gonna do that pull across the chest. I've got two that I love. The first is from Citizens of Humanity. If you have not gotten yourself a fabulous white shirt, you need it in your closet. You will not believe how much you wear it over and over again. It is the easiest combination to put together. Looks great with black jeans, looks great with blue jeans, looks great with a neutral jean. This is exactly how I wore it when I was in LA. I absolutely love a good white shirt. It feels crisp polished, put together, out the door, and done. And this Citizen's Top is worth every penny because of the cost per wear. We haven't talked about that equation in a while. You know my math on that. The number of times you wear it goes into the cost, and that's how you figure out your cost per wear. It's a wise equation to use with your significant other if they're questioning your, your purchasing decision. And I often do it when I'm like debating something that might have a little bit of a higher price tag, I really think about how much am I gonna wear it? And this is like a splash moment. One time I really force my hand to think long and hard about whether the investment is worth it. With something like this, when I know I'm gonna wear it a million ways, this is where the splurge I think is worthy. So really fabulous top. I love the longer tail on the back because it's an easy one even just to throw on with a pair of leggings or tuck it into a shirt and it has this fun, a little bit more voluminous sleeve too so it doesn't feel like you're just wearing like I don't know, your old boyfriend's Brooks Brothers shirt. There's like more to it than that. Really fun. Specific question. Yes. Uh, for the citizens top, how do you avoid having to get the iron out? <sighs> Gang, if we can solve that, then we've solved all the world's <laughs> problems. I mean, I will say this, that, you know, I grew up in a house where I got paid, and this is going to age me, but I'm going to, I already started telling the story. I got paid a dime for everything that I earned from my mom, and then my grandma did the same thing. Here's the thing, is that there are times when like an iron does a trick, but I will say I have come to be a devote steamer. Like I love, love, love a good steamer. It's worth the investment. My mama got me one a couple years ago for Christmas and I have broken out my iron maybe a handful of times since then. What I love about the steamer, you fill it up with water, plug it in, walk away, dry your hair, do whatever you need to do, it's all ready to go. Throw it on the hook, steam away, and it really does re release the ring that goes fast. 
And I think especially in something like this, we're, we're not talking about like a starched pressed moment like you would get at the dry cleaner. It's meant, like the silhouette of itself is a little bit more relaxed. You don't have to be so worried about that perfect pressed moment. And steamers do a beautiful job of that. It's also like quick in a pinch if you just need to release some wrinkles on a great pair of like trousers or like right before Christmas pictures and you're like trying to steam out your kid's shirt that you found at the bottom of the, like their closet because they shoved it over and they didn't tell you and now it's in a ball. Like does the trick beautifully. So I would say get yourself a steamer. On, on the steamer. I think the one that I knew you guys were going to ask that I'm like, and so now I have to like, like picture it in my brain of what it is. I think it might be a Rowenta because I've always been a big fan of the Rowenta irons and so I think I'd go a Rowenta steamer. I'll find out and we'll circle back and let you guys know. But here's what I look for. The steamers that I like, I don't love a handheld steamer. I love a standing steamer because I like that it comes with the rack so you can put your shirt or your pant or whatever you're steaming right on it. So I'm not fussing with like having to hang it somewhere. That for me has made it so much easier. I know a lot of people love a good handheld because they can like travel with it. And I mean, hallelujah, if you're doing that, I mean, all the power to you. When I need to steam something when I'm traveling, I just use my iron and I put it on the steam setting and I steam it there. Or in a pinch, a hot bathroom with a shower can also sometimes like release it just enough and then a couple of good shakes and you're good to go. So they're wondering about the white button up. Is it pretty long for someone who's five one? It's a good question. So, I mean, I'm five four. Here's what I found when I tried on that. And I'll, I'll pop it on for you guys just so you can see. Um, I mean, it's meant to be a little bit more relaxed. So, Mega Tamty, our co-CEO, co-founder of Everly, she has this and it looks like a million bucks on her. You might remember Ash wore this in a black version for her stories, pre-baby, looked incredible on her and I'm actually thinking she could probably still wear it because there's enough room in the body. So, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, this is a small, I'm 5'4", okay? Longer torso, so you can see, longer tail, which is really nice. Is this gonna be overwhelming on someone that's 5'1"? I don't think so, I really don't. So enough room, you can see that even if you are busty, this is an easy, easy one to pop on. See, I'm such a sucker for white shirts. And I kinda want this one. Another comment, Heidi, yeah. everyone's loving the cream jeans. Yes. Jeans because it goes with everything. Everything, absolutely everything. I think that's what makes these jeans so fun is that they can almost become like the equivalent of like the black jean in your closet, right? Like we wear our blue jeans all the time and then you reach for the black every once in a while when you just want to mix it up. I know that's what I did this morning when I got dressed. The cream is so fun because it adds just a different spin to a look, but it's equally versatile. I wear these with sneakers, I wear them with a little booty. Okay, so here's the sleeve. So this is what's fun, right? This great, a little bit of volume on the sleeve. Here it's fully tucked, nice open neckline. I also like that the collar in this is not so big and then tucking it in. Yes, you can. Pretty easy to do. Here's how I tuck my shirts in. Because I wear a woven shirt probably twice a week, truth be told. I shove it all the way in there. I mean, I really get in my own business. Get it in there tight. It's like deep down as you can get it. And then I lift my arms up just a little bit and that usually releases it just enough. And then usually I don't have a mirror here except for the camera. I have to do a little like tush adjustment just so you don't get that wrinkle along your denim line. You can kind of wiggle that up a little bit. And then every once in a while, if I just want a little bit more shape, I might take these back corners and tuck them in just a little bit more. Blouse, done. Woven shirt. Put together, chic, easy. Ah, uh, so cute. White shirts, they're so good. So yes, I think this is an easy one to really for anybody to wear. Can't go wrong with a great white shirt polished, done, right? So I didn't even talk about this one, this is so cute. It's a totally different spin, right? So this is from Rails, or Paige, excuse me. What's really fun about this shirt, and again in close so you guys can see, there's a little bit of Lurex in this flannel, and it's a nice lightweight flannel. I also love that there's almost this built-in kind of Johnny color. So nice split neck on this one, opens it up a little bit. Really, really pretty. This would be a great one back to a cream jean. So, so pretty. Or I think this is also a great one to wear back to a little gray, just to give it a little bit of edge. How fun is that? So pretty. Okay, last category of neutrals. 
Whew, you guys got me working today. So fun. Is kind of these jackets, outerwear category, right? So, so many fun ways to do it. We talked about the versatility and like the longevity of the white shirt. Can we talk about the camel coat? Because this is something that you're gonna wear a million ways. I've got a couple of really fun options. I'm actually gonna start with this brand new jacket from BB Dakota. So this guy is called the, isn't it iconic? I mean, actually that's so right on for this. Everybody needs a camel coat in their wardrobe. I got one probably two years ago and we first carried it at every, it was just this little run we had and I cannot tell you how much I wear it. It's coming with me. When I go to Nashville, I treat it as my got it together, aren't I polished, like outerwear layer, so fun and so easy. You can wear this for work, you can wear this for play. I wear it with sweats. Like one of my favorite ways to wear my camel is with a little matching set. So I'll wear like my hoodie, my joggers, my sneaker, and I'll throw this on and I instantly feel like paparazzi ready. I don't, I mean, there's no paparazzi in my life, but if there were, I would feel like I was put together enough. And then maybe like I throw on a beanie if I'm having a bad hair day. But this is BB Dakota, isn't an iconic, so easy to wear. I actually think this double breasted action is pretty darn fun. And it gives you a little bit more room, pockets, not super heavy, so easy to wear. Throw this guy on over a sweater with a pair of jeans, done, so, so fun. Now, if you don't want a long jacket, but you still love the idea of this camel, this is where this great little jacket from Rails is coming in. We were just talking about the silhouette. Little bit shorter length, this big patch pocket is so fun. Really, really cute. And for those of you that are more petite, this is actually a really nice silhouette to wear. Question. Do you need the cream jeans or can you wear white with that whole look? I think you can wear white with this. I mean, I wear my white year round now. I just think this like onset of cream denim is such a fun spin and a little bit unexpected. But yes, you can ask, keep those white jeans on rotation all winter long, is for sure. the coat run large? Well, I'm wearing a small. I think it's meant to be just a tiny bit relaxed with the shoulder, which I like. I always do the driving test. Like, does it pinch when you raise your arms? So I don't think it runs super generous, but I think it's meant to be big enough that you can layer it for sure over just about anything you need. This is a really cute comment. Looking yeah. so Jennifer Aniston in the morning show. Oh, <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week, right? Minus her like crazy neuroses in the show. <laughs> but I'll take what she looks like. Are you guys as obsessed with that show as I am? I mean, oh. I love it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so short version, long version, either way, so fun. Question. Do you have room for sweaters when you wear that coat? Oh, for, yeah, that's actually why I like it. So a couple things I was gonna call out is that the armhole is deep enough that you could easily slip a sweater on underneath. So like the, that Millie sweater, I tossed it on the ground in the crane, but I'll just show it in the pink. Like this would be such an easy layer to pop on underneath. I think a fun way actually to do this too is to go monochromatic. So you could, like the way I'm doing it here, or you could pop on like your blue Millie and a blue jean would be such a fun. And again, gang, I mean, I'm wearing heels, love it. Sneakers, trainers would be equally cute with this and would be so, so fun. So great. Okay, kind of another kind of sister to this, you might have caught Mel wearing this in her stories, is this amazing jacket from Level 99. Now the reason I love this is the fabric and the crazy amount of stretch. So those of you who live in a climate where you don't need jackets all the time, this is a really nice layer to wear, or for those of you who just like a great jacket to kind of feel finished and polished, another beautiful way to do it. This guy is called the Trekker. It's a faux suede, again, so much stretch. Mel looked like a million and one dollars in this. It's such a fun jacket, one of my favorites. And then if you wanna go cozy, let's just talk Sherpa for a hot second. Two ways to do it. So starting with this really fun jacket from Sanctuary. We've been talking about jackets all season long. We have never had one with the hood. How cute is this? This says like curl me up and like let's Netflix and chill kind of moment. So darn cute. Or in my reality, I'm probably wearing this to the hockey rink every Saturday and Sunday for the next five months. So love this guy because it's an easy one to like throw on. We've all had maybe that Sherpa jacket in our rotation for the past couple of years. I think this is a fun update to it. I like that it's a little bit sporty. And again, it's a little bit relaxed, so an easy one to throw on over a sweater. And then if you're looking for that look without as much weight, then this Dylan vest is so fantastic. 
Here's why I love Dylan. They pay so much attention to detail. Brushed, knit inside, so super, super soft. None of that like slick, shiny fabrication. Cozy, cozy. More of a flat Sherpa question. I have a question. Oh, yeah. uh, would you wear love uh, sole boots with that caramel coat? And oh, yeah. how about the high rise blue jeans? Are they a high rise? They are a high rise for sure. Yep. I mean, and they're not a crazy high rise. I have a really weirdly, I always say like high rise and I use my belly button as an anchor, but I have a really weirdly high belly button. Thank you to the doctor that did that to me. I don't know. But so I think my measure of high rise is always a little bit off also because I have a long torso. But these are not a crazy, crazy high rise. They're hitting me about an inch above my hip. So not that like rib cage kind of high rise, but definitely higher, which actually in a lighter denim, I really like because it holds you in, which is really nice. So and yes, camel coats go just like a white shirt, go with everything. Lug sole boots, sneakers, heels, dark denim, light denim, joggers. You can wear them a million ways. It, I, I cannot, this, like this piece, this piece, this jean will be the most versatile pieces you can have in your closet all season long. I feel like we should do like a capsule around them, don't you guys think? It'd be so fun, like how to mix them up. This maybe like comes into play too because you like layer it if you're really cold. So little Dylan Sherpa vest, one of my faves, so fun. This is also a really fun like special gift for someone if you're looking for something cozy and cute. I will do this all day long. Where does the Sherpa vest hit you on the waist? I'll show you guys. It's a little bit longer, which actually I think is great. Um, gives you just a little bit more coverage. Pass that guy down. So it's not like super oversized. You might remember when we kind of had those. So, and I'd say it's like shorter than that gray little fur vest that we had back in October. So a little bit shorter than that. Cute, right? Just fun, easy polish. You can throw this on over a little sweater. It would be so fun. Let's see if I can just grab one. Like this would be so cute over this page sweater because you get credit for all that fun detail. Easy to wear, neutral, but, right? Questions. Um, we have our question. Do you do personal styling sessions, aka our stylist in the store? <laughs> we do, you guys. Here's what I will tell you. So when I started working at Ever Eve, I went through a styling session in the very beginning. And do you know what? You know what they do. This is what I love about Ever Eve. We put you in a dressing room. We help you, and we keep bringing you things until you cry, Uncle. And the uncle is like the best moment ever because at that point you have an entire dressing room full of yeses. What I love about every two when we go when you go through our styling experience, and when I'm calling it that, I really just mean when you come in and shop with us, is that we find out how much time you have, we find out where you are, kind of in your fashion journey, we talk to you about what your needs are, and we really help you find things that are good for you. The best phrase that I have heard at every that I have never once heard in any other place I have ever shopped is we can do better. And that's what I love about our stylists is we're always looking for the best pieces that fit you the most perfectly, that make you feel the most comfortable, and I would say the best version of yourself. So yes, we do it every day, all day long, don't need to make an appointment, just come in and get done. Question. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said that's why I need y'all in North Carolina. Yeah. I don't know. Transcend. 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 Hold tight, North Carolina. And Charlotte. We might be coming for you soon. Okay? Hold tight. Hold tight. I promise. It's on our radar. No doubt about it. Okay. I said that this was the last thing I was going to talk about, but I just have like one more category. I just had to hit because it's so, so fun. Oh, there's like two, but I'm just going to talk about one. Okay. Is dresses. So, we talked a lot about wearing a Thanksgiving dress or a Thanksgiving sweater and that's like an easy outfit to put on. I am also a fan of wearing a dress for Thanksgiving because it's that one and done. So I was talking about this the other day in live, how like my mom was always the one on a Thanksgiving. She was standing at the top of our stairs trying to get dressed. My grandparents would show up. She wasn't ready to go and it was always stressful. So to me, when you're picking, when you're hosting, when you have an event coming up, when you need something that's just like one and out the door, a dress or a jumpsuit is the easiest thing you can put on. You don't have to iron it. You can just pop it on. It looks cute in stock and feet. It also looks great with a heel, and it's a no-brainer. So, two incredible neutral dresses that I 
love, love, love for the holiday. Okay, the first is from Rails, the second I think is ours. Yep, it is. Okay, so similar ideas, gang. Sweater dresses, not, not tight. So I think there is a fear sometimes that a sweater dress gets really tight and it's really clingy. Neither one of these does that. It skims the body, doesn't like slick to the body, so chic. What do we love about these? Okay, well, this one has more of a mock neck. This has more of a turtleneck, but can we talk about an easy tie that gives you credit and they both have a slit. So you're not gonna get swallowed up in that dress. It's really easy to wear. So fun little side slit here. And then in the gray, dare I say that slit's a little bit higher. So kind of sexy. How to wear this, booty or a tall boot. You have not gotten rid of that tall boot yet. I know what's in your closet. And if you did get rid of it, we've got some amazing options at Elva Reeve. Pair it with a little tall boot, throw this guy on, you are ready and out the door in five. And then yeah, get that camel coat and throw it on over it. You will be like the best dress at Thanksgiving all day long. Okay, Whew. we have been talking today. It's been a busy one. I told you I was amped, I knew I would be. All right, so fun, neutrals, maybe my favorite thing to talk about ever because it's what I wear all day long. So many ways to do it, gang, including, of course, getting dressed up. Keep your eye out for all of these fun pieces. I think we're talking about these jeans all day long, right? This is, these are gonna be a home run for sure. And I will tell you this, I've been wearing them for an hour now. They definitely stretch. Like, I feel very, very comfortable. I think the like, idea sometimes with a lighter jean is you go down a size or go up a size. I don't think you need to in these. They totally stretch with me and they feel like a million bucks. Nashville. Core four, I'm coming for you. Hope everyone has an amazing, amazing weekend and we'll see you soon.